Mosquitoes, you're supposed to be dead by now. Go away. <laughs> there really shouldn't be so many mosquitoes like this. I don't get it. Hello everyone. I'm back out here at the high school field to test out some changes I've made to the antennas on my drone. So if you've noticed, I've switched over from the DJI radio to a Tango 2, and I was using the VAS X-Fire antenna. And I've just been a little disappointed with the range, and I've had a few uh, fail safes when I'm flying really low to the ground. And I'm convinced that it's got to be something to do with the way I had the antenna installed on my drone. But as a simple test, I'm going to switch over to the sort of L-shaped soft uh, crossfire antenna that came with my micro receiver. And I want to see if that gives me better range and less uh, issues. So that's why I'm out here because I was here last weekend with the other antenna and I'm just going to try to recreate what I did before and see how it goes. All right, better get to it. All right, well now it recorded more than a couple of seconds worth of video, so that's good. Probably didn't record any of uh, that first flight, which is unfortunate. Uh, really would have liked to have had that audio to go with that, but oh well. My uh, first test flight was pretty conclusive that I I got as far as I was comfortable with going last time with the VAS X-Fire antenna, and this time with this Crossfire antenna, I could go just as far and still had like perfect, near perfect signal all the way out there. So now I'm going to try flying from inside the car because those mosquitoes out there are nasty. And did I turn the, yes, I did turn the recording on on the GoPro. That's good. All right, time to see how well the Crossfire works this time while sitting in my car, because that's where I really need it to work well. And also where I've had some fail safes not far away from the car when I was out uh, checking out the farm fields the other day. And it was especially like that when I was low to the ground. Uh, I got a little bit of grass on my lens. But uh, so far, beautiful, perfect signal, 90s, 97. I've not had a single warning on the radio that it had to drop to the lower, or the, yeah, to the lower frequency rate, update rate. I think that's what it does. All right. Now back here, it's got to go all the way through the whole car and some trees. Here's a freshly harvested field. Whoa, getting a little low there. But crossfire, perfect. Video signal's getting a little weak, but still not bad. Let me go cruise up and down this road nice and fast. Ooh, hard to tell how high I am off that road, but video signal, um, crossfire is doing its job. It's perfect. Video signal is getting a little weak there, but still not bad at all. That one tree here is changing colors a little bit. Going between the garbage pans and the sign, yep. Oh, these soccer goals actually have nets in them now. <laughs> oh, I should go check out those purple plants again. Now that hopefully I'm recording audio, who knows. Let's see, they're over here on the left side of this path. Gosh, my face still itches from those mosquito bites. Still perfect 99 on the crossfire. Oh, where are they? There they are. Get right up in there in those nice purple flowers. <laughs> All right. I am absolutely convinced that this antenna setup is much, much, well, at least gives me a much better signal than what I had before.
So maybe I should explain the difference again. So I originally built this when I put uh, Crossfire in it. I got the Vast X-Fire antenna. So it sounded like it'd be a really cool antenna. It's small, easy to mount. I actually couldn't find a great spot to mount it on my frame and ended up kind of zip tying it to the DJI antenna in the back, which I'm sure is not the best way to do it. And originally when I did that, I didn't have too much of an issue with uh, range and whatnot. And then I tried to move it to get better signal and range and uh, it actually I think made it worse. So I was just really wanted to see if it was Crossfire or if it was the antenna or the Tango 2 that I'm using. And so I put the default antenna that this Crossfire receiver comes with. I think they call it the L antenna. I don't know, it's not the Immortal T, it's the other soft antenna. I put it on with some zip ties in an L formation. And so far, yeah, it's working great. Hopefully I've got it in such a way that it'll survive a few crashes. And if it does, then yeah, this is this will be the way I do it. I think it's kind of similar to the way Mr. Steele's video looks like he's got his antenna mounted. But that makes me feel much better that this antenna like this gives me much more confidence to fly far away. Now I have no idea how far I'd have to fly away before the crossfire would start beeping on the Tango 2. Probably farther away than I'm comfortable whoa, with my video signal. Drop down to three megabits per second uh, orbiting around that tree there. So I wonder how much this microphone picks up that fan noise from these goggles. This battery's probably had enough, so time to bring her in. And check to see if the GoPro's recording any of this once again. Hey, the GoPro is still recording, yay. And this GoPro's recording too, that's nice. <laughs> All right, well, I'm convinced this uh, antenna set up like this is definitely much better. And I was a little worried having it sort of zip tied right to the 5.8 gigahertz uh, DJI antenna that that might interfere a little bit, but I know they're on totally different frequencies, but still being super, super close, sometimes things still interfere, but uh, it's all good. So this is what I'm gonna run from now on, <clears throat> at least until I find some fault with it. So anyway, Thanks for watching. Oh, one more quick thing before I go. If you like that little tagline slash logo thing I put at the end of my videos that says change your view, fly FPV, and if you get the double meaning of it, even better. But if you like that and wanna have it on a t-shirt, don't forget that you can get one just like the one I'm wearing right now. And uh, you can also support the FPV Freedom Coalition in the process. To do that, just head over to the FPVFC's website and their store, so fpvfc.org store, and pick one out for yourself.